Don't forget to equip your favorite Torg weaponry. Let's go, let's go! Oh, he's excited. And for a good reason. Today we're going to be looking at Torg shotguns and all of the parts that you ever, and some of you never, wanted to know existed. We're not going to be looking at any uniques or legendaries because the parts that make those guns what they are are not going to be on any other gun. However, many of the parts that we are going to look at will be able to spawn on legendaries and uniques, so it might be good to know what you can- LET'S DO THIS THING! Alright, jeez. We're going to start off with the body. Every single Torque shotgun will have the same body, no matter the rarity. And the body has a chance to spawn with up to two accessories. The first is one that will increase your damage by 10%, shown here. The second is one that will increase the number of projectiles per shot by 35%, Increase Accuracy Bloom by 15%, give you a positive 10% accuracy which appears to be bad according to the part inspector, not sure why, and decrease your damage by 5%. As you can see, the body and its accessories are relatively simple. Next we're going to take a look at the barrels which are not as simple. There are four different barrels that can spawn on Torque shotguns and each one has its own set of accessories it can spawn with. The base names of the gun are determined by the barrel and we'll take a look at them now. First we have the Baloney Pony Barrel. Its damage is on the lower side of the Torque shotguns and has middle of the road accuracy and fire rate. It generally has the lowest projectile count on average, but we'll get to this in a bit. This is the barrel here, and this one can spawn with three different accessories. It has one that will increase fire rate by 10%, one that will increase the splash damage radius of the pellets by 20%, and another one that will increase the splash damage radius by 20%. Then we have the Bang Stick. The bank stick has the highest projectile count on average, the fastest fire rate, and high damage but lower accuracy. Here's what the barrel looks like. Again, like the baloney pony, it can also spawn with three accessories. The first will give a damage increase of 10%. The second shown here will also give you a damage increase of 10%. The third will increase the number of projectiles per shot by 35%, increase accuracy bloom by 15%, give you positive 10% accuracy, and decrease damage by 5% exactly like one of the body accessories. After this, we have the Kilbasa Barrel. It has higher damage, the highest accuracy, a slower fire rate, and the second highest projectile count of the Torque shotguns, unless you have a certain magazine, which we'll get to later. This is the barrel. Like the other two barrels, this one also has three accessories. The first will provide a negative 7.5% accuracy bonus. The second will increase projectile speed by 30%. And the third one here will also increase projectile speed by 30%. The fourth barrel is the Protuberance Barrel, and it's the Alien Barrel. When the projectile impacts a target, it will split into three child projectiles that fall down around the point of impact. Here's the barrel, very alien-like. It's also going to add five rounds to your magazine. It can spawn with one accessory that will increase the splash damage radius by 20%, and will decrease reload time by 10%. That's it for the barrels, now we'll take a look at the grips. You can have one of three different grips on a Torque shotgun. The first will give you minus 10% accuracy and give you a 5% damage increase. The second will give you a splash damage radius increase of 20% and a recoil width reduction of 30%. This last grip does quite a bit. You have this negative 30 weapon sway which shows up twice and I guess one is a positive indicated by the green and one is a negative indicated by the red. I have no idea why this is like this, but it shows up on parts on every gun type, so I suspect it's a bug. Anyways, this grip also gives a 30% damage reduction, a 10% accuracy bonus, which again is a negative here, and an increase in accuracy bloom by 25%. The one thing that you don't see here is the fact that this grip is the double shot grip, which will double the amount of projectiles you have. This grip will be on any torque shotgun that has a double penetrating prefix. Now for the magazines, of which there are five. This is where things can get kind of complicated. The magazine will determine how many pellets the gun will have, and then other accessories like the body accessory or the grip can increase the number of projectiles per shot. The first magazine will have a size of 2 and will give either 4 or 5 projectiles per shot depending on the barrel. From all the shotguns that I looked at, you would only get 4 projectiles if you had a baloney pony. The kielbasa and the bank stick always had 5 projectiles unless you had the 4 mag shotgun which we'll look at in a second. This one will also provide a 20% damage boost. The second magazine will have a size of 3 and will also give you either 4 or 5 projectiles per shot, again, depending on the barrel. It will also increase your damage by 10%. This one here is the 4-shot magazine and it will do a number of things, the most notable being that it will set your pellet count to 1. To compensate for the low pellet count, you get a very large increase in damage, going up 620%, and a splash damage radius increase of 300. 
You also get a negative 50% accuracy bonus, making accuracy much better. Now I did notice the Kilbasa seemed to have a higher tendency to spawn with this magazine. This could just be RNG on my end, but I thought it was worth mentioning. The fourth magazine is a five round magazine that, like the first two mags, will give you either four or five projectiles per shot depending on the barrel. It will also decrease your damage by 10%. You can also see from these magazines that the sticky gyrojet pellet increased damage is determined by which magazine size you get. The 4 mag has the greatest increase because it causes shots to only have one pellet, followed by the 2 mag, then the 3 mag, leaving the 5 mag with the least amount of increased damage. The last magazine can only spawn if you get an alien barrel, and from what I've seen will always spawn if you get the alien barrel. This will give you one projectile per shot, a 10% damage reduction, and a 5 round magazine. The 3 foregrips are next and there's nothing super complicated here. You can get one foregrip that will give you a 10% increase in magazine size, a 10% accuracy penalty, and a damage reduction of 0.3%. The second foregrip will give you a 30% reduction in recoil height and a 5% increase in fire rate. The last foregrip will give you a splash damage radius increase of 20% and an accuracy bonus of 5%. It is also possible that you get no foregrip on a gun, resulting in no bonuses or penalties. You can have three different sights on Torg shotguns, the first shown here is a 1.5 times zoom. The second here is a 2 times zoom. And the third one here is a 2.5 times zoom. You can also get a gun with no sight. Torque shotguns can also spawn in all elements, these being fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Now that we've seen all these parts, I want to talk a little bit about prefixes and how it looks like they're generated. Some prefixes are determined by a single part, like the double penetrating prefix or any prefixes that have to do with a specific element, but some are determined by a combination of parts and I will give you a good example. I know that the prefix triple penetrating does exist on Torque shotguns because people have shown screenshots online, but it looks like it comes from a combination of parts rather than just one. First you need a bang stick to spawn with a 4 shot magazine as this will reduce your pellet count to 1. And you need to get this on a bang stick because that's the only barrel with an accessory that will increase your projectile count. When you combine the body accessory that increases projectiles per shot, the bang stick accessory that increases projectiles per shot, the double shot grip, and the four round magazine which gives you one projectile, you will get a shotgun that will shoot three projectiles and will spawn with the triple penetrating prefix. I haven't seen one to inspect the parts but this is what I think happens. And this just shows that the prefix naming convention is a lot more complicated than just having one part and it might take some time before we know how every prefix is generated. There's a lot of parts here, and to try and help out with learning these, here's a table showing all of the bonuses you can get on a Torque shotgun that I managed to find. I'll also link a spreadsheet with the same information along with other weapon types as I go through them. Anyways guys, good luck trying to remember all of this stuff.